What is going on guys, Boy Trends back in video, and today's video is going to be a short recap of today's scrimmage at Ole Miss. And let me just say, today's scrimmage, the offense looked good, the defense looked good, several players stood out in today's scrimmage, and look, this Ole Miss team is a very good team, it's a very talented team, and it's a team nobody want to face in 2024. But today's scrimmage at Ole Miss, and first of all, I'll tell you what. First of all, let's talk about this Ole Miss offensive line group. And, you know, last year, this offensive line group, there were some times last year we could not create some huge gaps. We just could not create huge holes. Um, some games, this Ole Miss offensive line had way too many penalties. Just overall, this offensive line group had to improve this all season. There is no question about it to me. Look, if you want to beat the best of the best, if you want to be successful in 2024, it was obvious. You had to get some very good, talented offensive linemen this offseason. And this offseason, you know, we got Diego Pounds from North Carolina. You got uh, Jaquan Scott from Southern Miss. And then also you got Julius Burrow and Nick Quipo from Washington. That is for offensive linemen transfers. And there's a possibility Ole Miss may add one more this offseason, you know, here in the next couple of weeks, for the next couple of months. Possibility that could happen. But once again, it was obvious the offensive lineman group overall was something Ole Miss needed to improve on this offseason. But today, and I do want to say this as well, too. Today, we saw several guys get moved around. Uh, you know, Ole Miss was trying several different guys out at tackle, guard, and even a couple of different centers as well, too. And look, it's going to be an interesting battle here in the spring, in the fall, and even some throughout the season as well, too. You're going to see, and look, even next weekend in the spring game, look, you're going to see it. You're going to see several guys get moved around. You don't see several guys get playing time. You don't see several guys get opportunities next weekend in the spring game. But, you know, today, once again, some of the guys move from, you know, left tackle to right tackle. Some of the guards get moved around. Uh, a couple of different guys playing center. You know, Coach Garrison is trying to figure out what to do. You know, Coach Kiffin trying to figure out what to do. Of course, at this moment in time, our coaches, are, you know, our coaches are not in any hurry. They're definitely going to take their time and just, you know, they're trying to figure out what's the best for this team and, uh, you know, what's the best for this player. Is he better at guard? Is he better at tackle? You know, so we put him at center. It's going to be a tough decision the next couple months for our coaches on what to do, to be honest with you. And, you know, today we saw several guys in the rotation. Once again, several guys get moved around. And I do want to say this, you know, in the past, Ole Miss is a team, we don't, you know, we don't make many changes on the offensive line in the game. We don't see many guys rotating. We don't see many guys going in and out. I honestly believe here in 2024, you will see more of that than ever before. There's a possibility you may see us be anywhere from, I would say at this moment in time, I think Ole Miss could be anywhere from 8 to 10 deep on the offensive lineman group. I honestly believe it, but the Ole Miss offensive lineman group, I will say today, they have improved. Uh, there are some guys that stood out for sure. To me, I'm going to be honest with you, the two guys from Washington, from Washington uh, Quipo and Burrow, those two guys to me stood out the most. Uh, some other guys stood out as well too. But those two offensive linemen from Washington, Quipo and Burrow, looked very, very good. And at this moment in time, I would be absolutely shocked if they're not in the starting lineup there in August or even September. To me, those two guys right there will be Huge impact players for Ole Miss in 2024. I honestly believe they'll be starters. And those two guys will get a lot of playing time in 2024. But super, super impressed with the Washington transfers today. Uh, but yeah, this Ole Miss offensive line group. 
So they, there were some times, you know, they looked good. There were some times we could not create some huge gaps. There were some times, you know, too many guys getting to the quarterback. Um, so this Ole Miss offensive line group still has some concerns, has a couple of things still need to improve on. You know, today, you know, Jeremy James didn't look the best. Um, Jaden Williams didn't look the best. Pettis, you know, not the best. Caleb Warren, you know, not the best. Some of these guys have improved some, but, you know, kind of hoping for a bigger improvement from what I saw today from some of these guys, to be honest with you. But that's kind of thoughts on the offensive linemen uh, group overall. You know, moving to receivers, and of course receivers, I guess not really many surprises, you know, kind of the expectation. And of course, we know, you know, this wide receiver group, it's a very special group. Uh, Ole Miss has had a bunch of talented receiver groups before in the past. But this 2024 group may just be the best Ole Miss has ever had before. That is how high I am on this receiver group in 2024. But today, and even the last even the last couple of weeks, of course, you know, Trey Harris is what good, Watkins is what good. Uh, you know, Caden Wee today stood out, made some very good plays. Caden Wee's a guy who'll be in the rotation a lot this year, in my opinion. Or, uh, well, he, he's he's definitely gonna get more playing time for sure, no doubt about that. But Caden Wee went pretty good. Um, Aiden Williams went very good as well today, too. Uh, you know, right now, you know, no Deion Smith, um, he's not practicing right now, but we know he's pretty good. Uh, you know, Juice Wells, you know, made some good plays as well, too. Uh, this receiver group, it's a very talented receiver group. But even today, uh, you know, Joshua Aka, um, he's a guy transferred in from uh, East Mississippi Community College last year. And he played some, you know, not much last year. But today he made some pretty good plays. Uh, there's a possibility he could be a backup this year. Uh, if he's not a backup, you know, maybe third stream. But today he made some good plays. Um, he's a guy to watch out for the next couple of weeks and even in the fall as well, too. Uh, you know, Price, the receiver from A&M, you know, made a couple good plays. Uh, there's a possibility this year he could be a backup, maybe a third stream. But he's, he's another guy to kind of watch out for uh, here in the coming months as well, too. But there's, but this receiver group looked very good today for Ole Miss. Uh, the quarterbacks all look good, of course. Jackson Dart had a very good performance. Uh, you know, Walker Howard looked pretty good. Uh, you know, Austin Simmons is a guy who plays baseball as well, too. Uh, but Simmons, for those who don't know, Simmons was at practice. He did not make he did not make the trip to Fayetteville. No baseball for him this weekend. He said he stayed in town, uh, stayed for football practice, and even Simmons looked pretty good as well too. Um, even the you know even the freshman quarterbacks, uh, some of those guys looked pretty good as well too. The quarterbacks have looked very good the last couple weeks for Ole Miss. Uh, moving on, uh, talking about the defense. Uh, you know, once again, this Ole Miss defense is a very special group, very talented group. They have made several good plays the last couple of weeks. Uh, but, uh, you know, first of all, let's let's talk about, you know, Perkins. You know, Sunarine Perkins, you know, five-star back in high school. Uh, last year, you know, true freshman. Still made a bunch of good plays last year as a true freshman. But this offseason, to me, Perkins has kind of took that next step or has definitely improved he is, you know, he's improved some for sure. Now, it's kind of interesting, you know. Perkins, for those who don't know, Perkins is a guy who's been on the defensive line, um, some this off season, and he's playing some linebacker as well too. Uh, but there's a chance, possibility, you may see, you may see him play some of both this year. You know, coaches are trying to decide what to do at this moment in time with, with Perkins. But Perkins is a guy. You know, very talented player, but he does need to put on some weight, to be honest with you. But but Perkins has made some pretty good plays today and even the last couple of weeks. Sunderine has looked pretty good the last couple of weeks. There are some times a day, just straight up, I ran the offensive lineman. Um, some guys, he just ran over. Perkins stood out today for sure. The linebackers, they all look pretty good. Uh, you know, Dudley, uh, Coleman, you know, Paul Jr., uh, you know, even Tyler Banks, you know, Banks is the guy I've been here for a couple of years. Um, 
you know, has played some here and there, hasn't played just a whole bunch, but even Banks were pretty good as well, too. But the linebackers for Ole Miss uh, looked pretty good today. The secondary, you know, several guys in the secondary get moved around. Um, several guys get playing time today. Several guys rotating in and out. Um, Amos has looked good um, the last couple of weeks uh, for sure. To me, in my opinion, at this moment in time, he'll probably be your best corner, uh, best guy in the secondary for Ole Miss in 2024. That's just kind of my early prediction. Uh, but this secondary, you know, I w this, is a, this is how I describe the secondary. Um, I would not use the word elite for any of these guys, uh, but this is a good group in the secondary but the secondary still needs to improve some. And there's a possibility you could see Ole Miss, you know, still pick up, you know, maybe one or two more guys in the secondary um, this offseason. But overall, you know, secondary has still looked pretty good. But at the same time, you know, when you're facing these receivers every day in practice, when you're facing possibly the best receiver, you know, possibly facing the best receiver group in 2024, I mean, it's it's hard to be outstanding every day. That is how I will word it to you. But uh, but look, you know, our secondary, you know, <laughs> they're not going to face these receivers every Saturday. They won't face a Trey Harris. They won't face a Juice Wells. They won't face a Deion Smith or Jordan Watkins every week. Most teams are not as deep as us at wide receiver. But overall, the secondary, you know, that is one thing I'm kind of curious about is, you know, how can we do it against other teams? Against other teams, I believe Ole Miss will look a lot better for sure. But once again, when you're facing, you know, some of these best receivers in the country, every day in practice, there's sometimes they, uh, sometimes, sometimes they get the best of you. Uh, but anyway, uh, this video, we are 12 minutes in. That's just kind of a little summary of today's scrimmage at Ole Miss. I mean, once again, this team looked very, very good today. Definitely looking forward to next Saturday for sure in the spring game. Uh, but yeah, today, team up pretty good. Uh, but at the same time, several guys in the rotation, several guys getting playing time, several guys getting moved around. And of course, that's you know it's gonna continue on. That's how I mean that's how it's gonna be next weekend, in the fall, even the first couple of games. You will see several guys get playing time. You will see several guys get moved around in the coming months. Um, but once again, overall, this team looked very very good today. So, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, if you can, just please give a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, it would mean a lot for sure. That's pretty much all I got for the video. See y'all next one. And hotty tighty.